Hello, my friends. Martha Makes or Martha Makes Art. I go by both right now. Haven't decided. But anyway, I'm here with another project. This time on wood again. It's a little wooden canvas that uh, I bought at Walmart. There was three pack for like five ninety six eighty seven. I don't know, almost six dollars. I didn't think that was bad, and it was nice and smooth. And so I drew some falling leaves on a piece of paper, and I put pencil on the back traced it on here and outlined it in black pen so you and I both could see it really well. Uh, this little canvas is a six by six and I think it's a really good size hopefully to do something on YouTube that won't take forever. But anyway I also will have this as a free template if you would like to print it out and use it for a project of your own. I think it would be fun maybe in some collage or mixed media work. I got my coffee. I should change my YouTube name to uh, Coffee and Crafts or something. Because I always like to drink coffee when I'm uh, filming. I've chosen some colors in my Faber-Castell artist brush pens and my Posca pens. I'm not sure which ones yet I will use, if I will use all of them or just a few of them. But I chose some colors that I liked and that I thought would look uh, really nice. So, I'm going to try to make this look like falling maple leaves for fall. I think it will look pretty. I hope so. Anyway, so um, these pins have worked good on wood so far. But let's see. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking maybe I should start with the Posca pins, but maybe not. I don't know. I like these. So, I think I will start with some oranges. Let me make sure you guys are in frame. I don't have it low enough. Yeah, you guys look good. Okay, this is called Orange Glaze. And this one is called Terracotta. So, let me... Rubble on a piece of paper. Oh, that's a good color. And I like this color as well. It's the chrome, dark chrome yellow we used. And this one is raw umber. I think I will start with these colors. I guess I'm going to make, instead of making each leaf a separate color, I'm going to try to make it look like it has several colors in each leaf. That's a little ambitious, I think, but I think I'll do all right. So I think I want to start with this kind of a mid-tone color and um, I love this color. It's not too bright of an orange, but it's also, it's kind of a, a muted orange. Oh, we're going to be able to see the wood through, the uh, wood grain through this some, I think, which is fine with me. So, anyway, tomorrow, 
I'm going to leave for my home for a couple of days. I'm going on a retreat. The women are from my church. And I haven't been out of town in such a long time. So I'm really excited to um, get out and see something new. Have some fellowship. Be so nice. So, I have an aunt that lives in Alabama. She's been begging me to come down there and stay with her a while. I don't know. I just don't really want to go right now. I feel bad about it because she is my favorite aunt. And I enjoy her company and I haven't seen her in probably, I don't even know, remember when I was down there last. I think it was about 2015 maybe. She offered to pay my way, but the tickets are so high now, I just don't feel right having her do that. So, maybe I'll get down there soon. She's getting up in years, so I would like to go. I, I don't know, have you ever been that way you want to go, but you don't want to have to go to get there? <laughs> it's weird. Anyway. Let me try this color. We'll kind of try to blend it out and see what it looks like. That's the beauty of um, fall leaves. You can just throw any pretty color in there. Fall color and I think it's going to look good. I don't know, I'm getting kind of addicted to these pens. I don't even know if I want to use Posca pens or not. But they just, they blend so well. So, since COVID has been kind of over, has anyone else out there been on any fun trips? Tell me about it in the comments. Even if I don't go myself, I wouldn't mind hearing about other people's fun times. I'm using a, what color is this? I don't know, I can't read it. Looks like it's written in German, <laughs> maybe. And now before this dries, try to bend it out, blend it out a little bit. So in my video that I posted yesterday, I put a, a template, free template for um, my candy corn gnome. So people could also use that. They could use it to for a coloring page. Now the template I did for this one is not. It's not as nice. 
like it's good enough to print out and trace onto your project but I don't know if anyone would want it for a coloring page or anything like that I tried to make it like six by six to go on this so if you wanted it bigger you probably have to figure out how to do that on your printer maybe or load it into Word or something and make it bigger I'm gonna go around the edges a little bit with this brown. Okay, let's try some of this orange again to kind of blend it out. Oh yeah, I like it. So I recently, I've been trying to learn to paint for several years now. And I do pretty good sometimes, but the other, like a few weeks ago, I discovered I can't really, really just draw and color and things like this. Like I did when I was a kid. And so I've been doing that a lot more. Actually been enjoying it a lot more. And just using paint, I guess, is more like a accent or a detail thing. Now, let's see, I'm going to put this there. That looks pretty good. So let us see now. I think I'm going to do some red in this one. I see a lot of red in Follies. I can't read that one either. Now where I live, Or you don't see that much change in fall colors like you do back east. You know, a little bit. But not like it's the glorious display back east. Oh, when I used to live back there, I just loved it. And I missed all that when I moved out here, out west. But I've got used to it. And also... I love snow and winter time, but I wouldn't want to have to live in it and try to drive in it stuff. I'd be stuck in the house all winter long. Cause I'd be scared to death to try to drive in the ice. I could barely drive in the <laughs> rain. So. Maybe I can take me a trip there someday in the fall and enjoy it again. I am going to turn my CCTV on so I can tell you what color this of red this was. Now let's go in with um, maybe we'll do it with this one again. We'll make it different. Okay, this is Oh, it's that pale palm uh, geranium lake. That's what it is. I seem to always wind up with that one.
So, something I try to think about every day, and a lot of times when I'm doing like I like to do, oops, I like to write it out. But I, oh, there goes my kitty cat throwing up. I don't really don't think he's sick. He just eats too fast. And about the time I think. Oh, he's not thrown up a while. He goes crazy. And <laughs> throws up like a. I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying, I like to think about. And I like to journal it too. When I'm. I've not been in a journaling mood now for a. I don't know, about a month or so. But I like to um, journal my gratitude. Like a, a gratitude journal and I try to think of at least three things a day that I'm grateful for so that, you know, I won't get all bogged down and uh when things don't go well i always there's always something to be grateful for i'm gonna go in here with a little bit of my favorite india red make it a little darker so i thought i'd do it on here and you can make a comment if you want to and tell me what you're grateful for today This is a habit I started a long time ago because I realized I was a very critical person and got upset very easy about things not going like I thought they ought to go. So I just started making myself think of all the things I was grateful for and had to be grateful for. And it has made a difference in my life, in my heart, too, that um, to know even when things are going bad and not going like I want them to, I still have something to be grateful for. So, I guess today I'd like to share a few of those. First off, today... I'm really grateful that I have a retreat to go to. It's been a long time since I've been out of town and got to be around friends. I got to have some fellowship with my church ladies. It's going to be fun. And I'm really grateful that I got out this morning and had a little walk. I try to do that pretty regular for now, like, oh, I don't know, since around May, I guess. It's not been doing nothing for my weight because I love to eat, I guess, but it does make me, my body feel better and my mind feel better. I'm grateful for my home. And I am very grateful for my animals, my little friends, my little companions. They're a lot of fun and I really do appreciate them. I'm very thankful today that I've had good coffee and that I'm feeling good mentally and physically because I have had a hard time with that for uh, several months now but I think I'm starting to see the light of day and I really appreciate it so much happier when you feel good I think I'm going to put a brighter yellow these are all turning out looks like kind of the same color almost but 
I'll try to add some different colors with the paint pens if they all turn out the same. So if anybody's out there and would like to share something that you're grateful for, I'd happy to I'd really be happy to read about it. Now let me try a different orange here. You know, I'll share a little bit about myself. I went to um, school off and on for several years because I didn't have, uh, I don't know what you call it, the mental fortitude to go full time. The first time I went and I graduated with an AA, I mean an AS in um, business. And then I went to work for a few years. I never got anything real regular, but I went to work for a few years. And then I decided that this business wasn't for me. Nobody really wanted to hire me because of my disability, my vision problem. But I'm really grateful for it. It helped me learn a lot and do a lot that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. So several years later, I decided I wanted to be an art teacher and I wanted to get back into art because it sounded like something I could do and would enjoy. Well, I really worked hard at that for several years, and um, I graduated with a, a bachelor's degree in art education, which I'm really happy for. However, spent most of my time um, making... Um, writing essays and algebra, doing algebra, and which I hate. And I probably couldn't even do the most basic problem now. At least now I know that the letters stand for number unknown numbers. I didn't know that before. But I didn't get to work on art like I wanted to. I didn't, I wanted to learn art. That's why I was in school too. But, when I got to, I finished my bachelor's, I was going through this program that was helping me pay for it. And I lived about, I don't even know how far it is, about 50 miles away to the college. So I was driving to the bus station, taking a bus in and it was just it took almost two and a half hours by the time you changed buses and all those stops in between and everything and so i started checking in to go to get my degree a teaching certificate so i could teach art and i just realized it wasn't going to work not at that school and the program i was in would not pay for it somewhere closer to me and I couldn't afford it. And they wouldn't help me move down there. And the basic, the only thing that I could have done was go into a program to teach all subjects. And I just didn't want to do that. I mean, man, I was already old. I like be 60, 62, time to retire by the time I did all that so I was just tired and decided that 
I'd rather sit home and make art and go to craft fairs and been trying to do things online for a while. Trying to make something out of that. But I really don't regret it now. I was upset in the beginning, but not anymore. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to go to school and learn what I did learn and further my edu art education and things I didn't get to learn back then. I've learned them on my own by just pursuing different things like on YouTube and books and online classes and even took some classes at the senior center as well so it's one thing about art you can't never say i've learned everything that there is to learn it just doesn't work that way there's always new things to learn and i guess that's what i one of the things I love about it. It's always stretching your mind and your abilities and Okay. I think I like that pretty good. Hold on that with some more red. I graduated god it's hard to remember now was it, I think it was 2018 or I'd have to go in there and look at my um, thing that came on my hat on my mortarboard is I guess is what they call it it's 2017 or 18 but since then I've been making art I've been cleaning houses I've been dog and cat sitting and I've been to uh, craft fairs I've sold a lot of things and uh, probably would have preferred to sell more however okay I am going to go in here with a lighter color of this with this Posca pen and see what it looks like I think I, I've got some of these darker than I wanted to. Mm. Maybe I should go in with that white Fabric Castile pen. That usually lightens things up a bit. That did lighten it up a little. But anyway, by the time I graduated, I was so tired. I don't think I couldn't have pursued a, uh, another degree for teaching right away. I just, it would have been too hard on me. Hmm. So 
that's in a lot. Mm. Yeah, you think it's gonna be bright and then it kind of soaks in. Mm. Mm, that's okay. Let me try that um, white one. See if it does anything. sure so I think I'll go in with these colors for the background they're kind of opposite on the color wheel and I think they will look really good so I don't know which one to start with let's just go in here oh yeah that's pretty Now, let me try to get this off my finger. One day I was doing this on canvas. I would take and mix the colors, blend them. So it gives the colors a variation. That's really nice, I think. I like that. So I think I'm gonna do that here as well. I don't know if you can see the different colors, but this one is uh, turquoise, some kind of turquoise, and this one is, I think it says cobalt green, and then cobalt turquoise. So we've got green and turquoise going here, and I think they look really good together. Makes the sky look like it has some. I'll well, just leave those off while I'm working here. And it blends in so well. Look at that. It's so nice. Could have done it with the colors I did the leaves in. That way it would. Uh, look like a whole bunch of leaves in the background you know but I guess it's too late to do that now anyway I like this contrasting colors I think for my next project, I am going to work on a mixed media piece that I started last year about this time. And I just could not make myself finish it. I guess I started it too late or it wasn't coming out like I wanted it to, but I've still got it. And I think it would be a nice challenge to try to finish it. I might be able to figure out what I didn't like about it and change it now that I've had a year. And I am looking at it with fresh eyes now. I really 
hope you guys are seeing the variation in colors of the in the background. It really looks nice where I'm at, but I don't know about you guys. So what do you guys think about, I should change my name to, my YouTube name to Crafts and Coffee or, Art and Chat or something because that's what I do is chat and drink coffee while I'm making art. It's kind of like a, not really a tutorial, more like a vlog. I just share what I'm doing here with you and hope you like it too. I'm pretty sure somebody will like it because a lot of times, you know, when I make art, I, something I'll make, I'll think, oh my god, I hate that. That's so ugly. And sure enough, someone will love it. So I think it might be that same way with uh, YouTube videos, <laughs> hopefully. Someone will like my style. Even though it's probably not the typical YouTube style. Anyway, I think it's fun and it gives me something, a goal, and something to, interesting to do. And share some of the stuff I learn and have learned, so... I hope you guys will stick around with me for a while. Well, I talk your ear off and drink coffee and draw and color and paint. I'll have to plan out a mixed media piece also from the beginning. It might be a two or three part series so that I can take my time and do it right. Anyway, I think I'm coming to the end here unless I do a few little details. Oh, my air conditioner came on again. And I'm gonna have to get off here and see, clean up cat stuff. Yup, there's a little pile over there. And I just got done vacuuming, so I'm glad that I didn't run over it with the vacuum. So, I'm thinking I should add something, but what? Let me make this brighter. Mm, I don't like that. different. So, let me try that with, hmm, do I have a good yellow over here? No, oh, that one's not been started yet. Let's see, let's put a little more on this one and see how it looks.
So I think I'm just about done here. kind of balance it out a little. looks like it's underneath. I guess I'm pretty happy with this. Let me see how a few little white highlights will look. Don't know that I will like it, but we'll see. Down. I don't seem to want to quit. <laughs> I like that white in there, I guess. Brightens it up. Yep. Alright. Thank you for watching. Comment. Tell me what you're grateful for. Tell me if you have a new name that you think I should go by, and I'll consider it. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>